The Conqueror's Gambit, Attila, the Huns, and the Battle for Europe. In the heart of Europe, during the turbulent years of the 5th century AD, a shadow loomed over the continent. Attila the Hun, a name that would echo through the annals of history, rose to power as the most feared and formidable leader of his time. His relentless campaigns would shape the fate of nations and set the stage for one of the most epic battles in European history, the Battle of the Catalonian Plains. Attila, born around 406 AD, was the son of Munzuk, the chieftain of the Huns. The Huns were a nomadic people who hailed from the vast Eurasian steppe. Their very name struck terror into the hearts of those who heard it, for they were fierce warriors and expert horsemen. As a young boy, Attila learned the ways of warfare and leadership from his father. He possessed an uncanny ability to unite the various Hunnic tribes under his rule. In 434 AD, after the death of his uncle, Rujula, Attila became the sole ruler of the Huns. He began consolidating his power and expanding the Hunnic Empire. Attila's ambitions knew no bounds. His eyes were set on the riches and territories of the Roman Empire, which at the time was weakened by internal strife and corruption. He saw an opportunity to exploit this vulnerability and set his sights on the West. In the years that followed, Attila led his Huns on a series of devastating campaigns across Europe. His army swept through the Eastern Roman Empire, plundering cities and exacting tribute. The Romans, unable to stop the relentless advance of the Huns, dubbed Attila the Scourge of God. With his coffers overflowing and his reputation as a fearsome conqueror growing, Attila turned his attention to the Western Roman Empire. In 451 AD, he crossed the Rhine River with a massive horde, entering Gaul, modern-day France. Panic spread like wildfire as cities fell to the Huns' onslaught. As Attila advanced, word of his brutality reached the ears of two of the most powerful figures in the Western Roman Empire, Aetius, a brilliant general, and Pope Leo I, realizing the imminent danger, they decided to put aside their differences and unite against a common enemy. Aetius, known as the last of the Romans, was a military genius. He had served as a hostage among the Huns during his youth and knew their tactics intimately. He understood that the fate of the Western Roman Empire rested on his shoulders. Pope Leo I, on the other hand, was a spiritual leader who saw the Huns as a divine punishment for the sins of mankind. He believed that only through prayer and divine intervention could the Huns be stopped. He made a perilous journey to Attila's camp, where he convinced the Hunnic leader to spare the city of Rome. With the agreement in place, Attila withdrew his forces from Italy. Historians still debate the exact reasons behind his decision, but some attribute it to a combination of papal diplomacy and concerns about overextension. The respite was brief, however, as Attila soon turned his attention back to the Western Roman Empire. In 451 AD, he advanced into Gaul once more, ravaging the countryside. Aetius and his Roman and allied forces, along with Visigothic and other Germanic tribes, prepared for a showdown with the Huns. The two mighty armies met on the vast plains near Chalons and Champagne in northeastern Gaul. The Battle of the Catalonian Plains, also known as the Battle of Chalons, would become one of the most significant clashes in history. The battle began with a cacophony of war cries and the thundering hooves of charging cavalry. The Huns, with their unmatched horsemanship, launched fierce attacks on the Roman lines while Aetius' disciplined legions held their ground. The battle raged for hours, with neither side gaining a decisive advantage. Attila personally led his warriors into the fray, fighting with the ferocity of a cornered beast. On the other side, Aetius coordinated his forces, marshalling his troops with strategic precision. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the fighting intensified. Thousands fell on both sides, and the plain was stained red with the blood of warriors from countless nations. It was a battle of attrition, and no one was willing to yield. In the midst of the chaos, Aetius and his Visigothic ally, King Theodoric, executed a bold plan. 
They launched a surprise attack on the Hunnic camp, where Attila's family and treasures were located. The Huns were forced to divert their attention to protect their camp, and this momentary distraction allowed the Roman and Allied forces to gain the upper hand on the battlefield. Seeing his camp in jeopardy, Attila had no choice but to order a retreat. The Huns, a nomadic people, relied on their camp for supplies and support. Losing it was a devastating blow. As dawn broke, the Huns withdrew from the Catalonian plains. The battle had been brutal and exhausting, and both sides claimed victory. Attila, realizing the extent of his losses, retreated across the Rhine, effectively ending his campaign in Gaul. The Battle of the Catalonian Plains marked a turning point in Attila's quest for dominance in Europe. While he had not been decisively defeated, his aura of invincibility had been shattered. The Huns would continue to raid and conquer, but they would never again pose as great a threat to the Western Roman Empire. As for Aetius, his victory at Chalons earned him the admiration of some and the jealousy of others. His military prowess saved the Western Roman Empire, but his influence would wane, and he would meet a tragic end at the hands of political rivals. Attila's life took a dark turn as well. In 453 AD, while celebrating his marriage to a young woman named Ildico, he died under mysterious circumstances, possibly due to a burst blood vessel. His death marked the end of an era, as the Hunnic Empire disintegrated in the absence of a strong leader. Attila's death marked the end of an era, and the Huns faded into history. The Western Roman Empire continued its decline and would eventually fall in 476 AD, while the Eastern Roman Empire, centered in Constantinople, endured for several more centuries. The Battle of the Catalonian Plains, though often overshadowed by other famous clashes like the Battle of Thermopylae or the Battle of Gaugamela, played a crucial role in shaping the course of European history. It halted Attila's westward expansion and preserved the Western Roman Empire for a few more decades. But the legacy of Attila the Hun, the fearsome warrior who terrorized Europe, lives on in the annals of history. His name continues to evoke a sense of awe and dread, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a man who nearly brought an empire to its knees and left an indelible mark on the continent of Europe.